we're going to look at completing the square. This is the method that we use to change an equation from standard form, which I have here in the example, to vertex form, which I've written up here. Um, vertex form is useful if we have uh, max-min questions um, or any other question where you really just need to know the vertex um, because we can pull that out quite easily from the vertex form. So our first polynomial, or excuse me, trinomial, um, my first step is to move the constant off to the side. Um, right now it's kind of in our way, but it is part of the equation, so we can't get rid of it completely. My next step is to factor out the a value. So the a value is the coefficient in front of x squared, and we're going to factor it out of just the first two terms. like so. And to factor it out, just as a reminder, I'm dividing each of these terms by this greatest common factor, and the result is what goes inside of the bracket. The next thing that I need to do is turn what's inside of the bracket into a perfect trinomial. And you'll remember that a perfect trinomial is where I take the middle term here, the 6, I divide it by 2, and I square whatever the result of that is. So 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 3 squared is 9. And so the perfect trinomial, I'm going to add a 9 in here. And I have um, just added something brand new to my equation. And I always have to make sure that I balance my equation. So I've added a 9. I would, you would think that I would want to subtract 9 then, outside here on the bracket. But I haven't really added 9 to this equation. I've actually added 27. Because I have to take into account of this 3 that I would have factored out of all of these 3 terms. So 3 times 9 is positive 27. So to balance this equation, I have to do negative 27. All right. The next step now is to factor this trinomial. And perfect trinomials have this really nice, easy way of factoring them. I just take this variable, write it down here, and then I take half of whatever this b coefficient is. So half of 6 is positive 3. And then I just get to square it on the outside. Perfect trinomials factor so that we have two of these binomial brackets that are exactly the same. So I'm saving myself a step, and I'm just writing the 1, and I'm squaring it, which indicates that I have two of them. And at the very end of the equation, all I have to do is just simplify my like term. So I have negative 27, negative 1, so I have negative 28. So if I wanted to pull out, so that, that I mean, that's it, we're done. If I wanted to pull out the vertex, I know that the vertex is always going to be my hk value. So in this particular example, my h value is negative 3. Remember that it's always flipping the sign on that. And the k value is negative 28. And that's it.